What's up, Bree? What's up? You're not gonna get that one. Whoa. Oh my goodness. I got it! <laughs> I got it! You ain't got it. <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> okay. Whoa. Okay, so guys, is that the other way of doing it? Instead of unboxing and then you do over the machine? Or oh, that's the other way of doing it? Are you watching to Lane or you are watching just for the sake of watching? Even if she was doing it uh, incorrectly, you still watch. <laughs> Let me stop it. Don't hit yourself. This one is a strong and independent one. This should not be this hard. <laughs> First off, excuse the messy garage. That was getting cleaned up after I got done mowing. But I originally took this video because I was going to be like, I don't need a man. I can do this on my own. After two hours of struggling, I ran to Walmart. I did an oil change. I had to go get more gas. I pulled that thing probably 50 to 60 different times and could not get it to start. I was sweating. I was tired. I was getting so frustrated. So I texted my ex-husband. <laughs> That's a lot of times she pulled and she's confessed that she took the video of her trying to do it by herself. So that she can say she's a strong and independent woman. So, one, there's one thing for sure here we are learning from this video is that uh, women who do some of the things that men are good at. And once they do it once, they say they are strong and independent. Guys, remember, they are not doing it on a consistent uh, basis. It's not like they wake up, that's what they are doing. Again, the day after, that's what they are doing. Or maybe it happens again, they are doing it. No, 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 no. They are just doing it once, and then they claim that they are strong and independent. But do you know what that creates is chaos, because they are not doing that good of a job. They are doing it for the camera so that they can post to rub it in men's face to say they are strong and independent and they don't need men. But the truth of the matter is that they do uh, an incorrect job and then that costs time and it puts, you know, like, it just scales. Let me know what you think in the comment section and subscribe to the channel. Right now at 5, a U-Haul slices through an apartment garage, yanking pipes down in the process. Police say they were trying to find the woman responsible. CBS 46's Mary Smith reports. 
people living here at the Ashley describe an absolute mess inside the parking garage last night from broken pipes to water flowing. Some of it was captured on video. Alarming video of the Ashley in Buckhead shows a mess of water and broken pipes in its parking garage. There was water everywhere. It was enough where it looked like it was flooding throughout the entire parking garage where all the visitor parking is. Um, definitely didn't look safe. Witnesses tell us this U-Haul rammed the ceiling. I have a vehicle that was not damaged from it. It was on the second floor. So we got an email from management and a ton of the visitor cars were damaged. According to Atlanta police, witnesses saw the U-Haul's roof hit a white beam. The driver continued to drive, damaging the sprinkler system and the upstairs gate, causing pipes to fall and hit cars. People need to pay attention about where they drive their U-Hauls. The incident report says a woman left the vehicle and scene, but police found the driver's information through U-Haul. Thankfully, my car's okay. Um, it definitely would have been a big inconvenience. I was nervous since this happened right at the entrance to resident parking that I wasn't going to be able to drive, but luckily they cleared it out in time, so I am able to. And Atlanta police tell us they are still searching for the driver. In Buckhead, Mary Smith, CBS 46 News. So this is what happens. If you see the other clip there that we watched, you'll see that at times it's just a woman trying to prove to society and men that they are strong and independent. Can I have your email? Uh, yeah. Can I kiss you? Right now? Uh, I think I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Once you have cracked that sun plug, you can twist it. It should be quite easy to twist and be prepared for a heavy flow of oil and you don't want to lose that sun plug in the bucket of oil so once you feel it get quite loose just yank it leon yeah you've got no oil what do you mean when did you do your oil last uh 19 000. you and the car's been driving fine yes it's been fine how have you been driving around with no oil? What? How have you been driving around with no oil? You're crazy. Oh, she's just realized that he changed the oil already. So he's just, he removed the oil already. And he just maybe needs to put new oil, but that's not the oil he was talking about. So the caption here says, when your ex calls you up to service his car. I mean, did he call her for, for, to service the car? Oh, it's the other car that needs to be changed. The oil, if you get it. <laughs> you surely didn't do your oil. <laughs> You're lying to me because there's nothing in here. Huh? What are you watching on my phone? What do you mean? How does she know the sound from one Khalifa to the other Khalifa? It's Khalifa. She's lying to him, maybe but I left it in the in my room. I don't have it on my leg, but we know where she left it. And one of the groomsmen knows where it is because she forgot to put back on. <laughs> I'm just saying, I think she probably cheated. Me. Oh. 
It looks like she's been holding that since the 1970s. I mean, and why would she be drinking like that? Given that that drink is, has, is so much carbonated and she's drinking like that. Is that some challenge or what? What is she trying to prove here or to achieve here? Because I don't think somebody would even be drinking from that big uh, bottle. I can never understand. Maybe she's been holding that since the 70s and now she just feel free to have let that thing come out. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.